Hi, I'm Anna Nutter, and this is St. Catharines at Bell Gable. It is located in Fayetteville, Arkansas, on Stone Chapel Lane off of Porter Road. It was built by Lowell Boynton without written plans. They were all in his head. He began building St. Catharines in the summer of 1986 and finished 12 years later. It's inspired by a stained glass window and doors from a church in England. Lowell also hand hewn the oaks used for the hammer beam trusses supporting the ceiling. And he formed the moldings that frame the windows in Gothic arch, first carving them in clay and building the forms and molds necessary for the concrete castings. The spiral staircase was inspired by the Chapel of the Sisters of Loretto in Santa Fe. And the pews are from a church in Cape Fair, Missouri. You'll notice two main methodologies in this piece of architecture, both formalism and iconography. As for formalism, notice the balance of composition through symmetry, as well as the variety of textures by the use of different mediums, such as stone, concrete, wood, and metal. Also notice the stylization and the fact that the chapel is non-representational. As for iconography, you will notice the sculpture of Jesus right in the center of the chapel as well as many different crosses and the symbol of the Trinity. There are also several different types of influences on this piece of architecture, including Gothic influence, Greek influence, as well as Christian. As for Gothic influence, you'll notice the Gothic arches above the door and the windows, as well as how your eyes are drawn upward by the points, um, that vertical lift. The Gothic influence is also seen in the stained glass windows. The Greek influence can be seen in the resemblance of ionic columns in the arch. And the Christian influence can be seen in all the symbolism that's used. The use of three symbolizing the Trinity and also giving visual stability, the crosses, uh, the stained glass windows, and the use of light inside. The reason I chose St. Catharines for my project is because the first time I went there, I went with a friend and I instantly fell in love with this little chapel. It was so beautiful and peaceful. The chapel is a great piece of architecture and it has a really interesting history. The chapel is obviously art, and it was made with such care and has been maintained so well.